Okay, the bullets keep firing, the guns keep smoking, airplanes and helicopters now continue to fall in Syria. People keep dying, not just in Syria, of course, where they say 30,000 have been killed so far. We don't know the actual numbers, never will. But people continue to die in Afghanistan, in Iraq, and in Libya. In Afghanistan alone, as most of you realize, we have been now engaged there 11, almost 12 years. Probably 2 million or more human souls have been exterminated by the land of the free and the home of the brave, at least the government of same, or what passes for a government of same. I would think that all of you listening would agree with me that it isn't our government, but it is acting in our name with our money, killing people under our flag. We have been usurped, as you know. Here to talk to us tonight about Afghanistan and Syria and the Middle East is one of the brightest, most intelligent, and wise analysts and human beings I've ever had the pleasure of having on this program to talk about things over there. He was born in Afghanistan. He is an American citizen. He has a Ph.D. and two master's degrees. His name is Dr. Mohammed Daoud Miraki. Welcome back, Mohammed. How are you? Thank you very much. Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it all this, uh, dear friend. Well, you're, thank you for being here and for being who you are. My pleasure. Uh, let us, if we first might uh, discuss the Syrian situation. Sure. The, the influx of terrorists that are being paid, they're mercenaries, and pumped into that country, as well as the special forces from several Western nations and so forth, uh, is nonstop. It's around mm-hmm. the clock. They are trying to literally bury and drown the Assad regime with death and destruction. Mm -hmm. Uh, How do you see the situation they're playing out? And then we're going to talk about Russia and what is obviously going on behind the scenes, I think to a very substantial degree. But we'll see what you have Uh, to say. Well, the the thing is this, that um, uh, that, uh, this, you know, as you said very well, that uh, mercenaries, uh, people who are paid and deceived some, but most paid and, and, and hired uh, and some under some bizarre pretext ideology as well, are being uh, concocted, you know, uh, prepared uh, and sent there to do all kind of rubbish, you know, uh, criminal and disastrous, mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, commit disaster of uh, crimes and... and oh, inhuman, know, inhuman, inhuman war crimes. Yeah, yeah. Inhuman war crimes and, and, and massive disasters that they have created there, actually, they... they the exodus of uh, refugees and, and and you you name it all and it's of course in the conflict uh, irrespective of who's involved the refugees tend to uh, you know exodus of refugees tend to happen however uh, these uh, elements and individuals the the interesting thing is this I remember back uh, in the 90s when the the uh, suddenly in Yugoslavia a war started and uh, there were various groups of diverse backgrounds from all sides, from both sides, ended up in the Balkans. And, you know, at that time, a question came to my mind, because I also heard of my own country people, you know, some that were brought there, and there were Chechens and others, and I said, look, these people don't even have passports. How the heck they end up there? And, of course, it's a legitimate question, which, mm-hmm. of course, later I found out, because CIA was involved, Yep. And the entire um, enterprise, and of course they had their older links in the past, and u- using those links. The same thing here in, uh, I mean, in uh, Syria, you 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 could find people from virtually all backgrounds. You could find Pakistanis, you could find Chechens, you can find people from uh, in different countries that do not even speak the local language. And and they've been uh, mm-hmm. amassed there to say, oh, you are doing this, you're doing that, and each one has uh, uh, his own uh, justification of being there. But uh, m- many of these, uh, uh, you know, uh, individuals with very, di- um, you know, very twisted ideology. You know, some of the majority of them sponsored by Saudi Arabia uh, and uh, Qatar, of course. Uh, in these <laughs> countries, you know, Saudi was always 
the cornerstone of win- uh, with, you know proxy of Western interest in the region. Sure. And uh, did all the bidding for the U.S. and the U.K. and so forth. But lately, of course, Qatar wants to also get to this position and get that privileged uh, position of being a proxy of uh, uh, Western, uh, uh, you know, interest in the region. And that's why uh, they end up uh, uh, being involved in all types of, uh, you know, uh, instability. Of course, the case was in Libya, you know, what, you know, the, the kind of murderous, inhumane, uh, uh, you know, uh, crimes that they committed there. And so uh, w- w- what happens is that it's, it's a very interesting calculus here that on the one hand, they have these mercenaries that are being supported by two, three different countries, including Turkey, incidentally, uh, and they, uh, you know, they've, they're not under one unified command. They're, you know, a significant portion of them, in fact, are a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, criminal, uh, uh, you know, outlaws. You know, uh, some of them are organized, some of them are not. So they don't have a unified command. And on this, on the, on the other hand, of course, the Syrian army is well organized, and and and, and the people don't want instability in the region, in the country. And there are, of course, the Russians. Uh, and the Russians, uh, you know, uh, have, uh, they're active in some of the weapons that they have there. For example, uh, the S-300 uh, uh, anti-aircraft missile mm-hmm. that, uh, that's called the, the version that they have is the non-export version. Mm-hmm. The non-export version is the one that are being manned by Russian technicians. Mm-hmm. Uh, and mm-hmm. that is why, uh, you know, several of uh, two, two or three of the Turkish uh, uh, F-16s, the the, uh, the the upgraded model, were being shot down by them. Uh, and on the same token, uh, by the way, when, one thing about that, Mohammed. Today, I ran a story that the Russians reportedly have turned their S-400s toward Turkey. Which is really? an interesting, yes, uh, interesting story. How the, the story was because the the, the 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 Turkish, you know, the Turkish, uh, you know, <laughs> the Turkish government is behaving really, uh, you know, irresponsibly. You know, they they uh, they commandeered the Russian jet to uh, by force to land in Istanbul to mm-hmm. search him for whatever, and and they're they're playing with fire, and uh, and the Russians realize uh, the Assad regime or the Syrian regime is the only regime. The only country where they have, uh, you know, they have the cards, uh, you know, the the winning cards, if you will, uh, in their hands. The reason being that all other former allies or or quasi former allies are being toppled or 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 compromised. Libya was there, and the Iran is also being sanctioned, uh, you know, to the limit. And and uh, they realize that by losing Syria uh, to the NATO and the U- U.S. interest. Uh, Russian interest in the region will be seriously uh, compromised. Uh, so th- they have, a, you know, they have a, a Russian fleet there. They have, of course, the advanced air defense systems there. Uh, the probability of uh, of NATO's engagement and success in Syria uh, doesn't look very promising uh, if you compare it, for example, to to what they did in Libya, because here the Russians are actively involved. And uh, the pro- you know the prospect of Russian engagement in the in the battle is very high. So uh, you know there is a lot of uh, there used to be a lot of uh, quote unquote conspiracy theories back in the 80s that World War Three will start from a small country in the Middle East and it's going to uh, you know expand and so forth. Uh, it it really gives me uh, you know uh, shivers when I see all this. Uh, more mongering in the region and oh, yes. the probability of expansion is really high. It is very high.